Hello everyone, my name is Stu Adler. Welcome back to Introductory Lectures in Thermodynamics. I need to take a break from our regular scheduled programming to bring you this special how-to video on how to make an exam privacy screen. Due to our open classroom, you are required to use one of these for our upcoming exam and all subsequent exams this quarter. I've tried to keep this as simple and inexpensive as possible, so this does not consume too much of your valuable time and resources. Here are the materials you'll need for this build. You'll need three standard manila folders, some tape, probably about three to four feet in total length, and some decorations of your choice. Ordinary scotch tape is fine for this build. But if you want to go for maximum durability and polish, I can recommend 3M packing and storage tape. I do not recommend masking tape or duct tape. Masking tape will just fall apart, and duct tape will stick to stuff in your backpack and make a mess. Okay, so here's the build. Step one is to make the sides of the screen. To do this, take one of your manila folders, open it up, and spread it out on a suitable work surface. Then take one edge of the folder and fold it back such that it aligns with the center crease of the folder. This will create a new crease about halfway between the original center crease and the edge of the folder. Then unfold it halfway until the new crease makes a 90 degree angle. When you're done, it will look like this, with a long side about 13 inches deep and a short side about 4 inches wide. This piece will form one side of your screen. Then take a second manila folder and repeat this, making the other side piece. Step two is to attach the back of the screen. Take your third manila folder, open it up, and then align one edge of this folder with the crease you made in the first folder. Then use your tape to secure it in place. Also secure the back side with tape. Repeat all this on the other side using your second side piece. You might find it helpful to remove any tabs on the third manila folder before attaching the side pieces. Step three is to personalize your workspace with inspirational images or useful information you might want during your exam. For example, handy data charts, conversion factors, or useful constants in various systems of units. Here's my personal favorite. Did you know that R is 7.815 milli furlong squared slugs per Rankin mole? You may also decorate the outside of your screen with team logos or commercial advertising, but please be respectful to your fellow students by not having anything too distracting. Finally, when you're done, fold the two sides together, and then fold the entire assembly along the original center crease of the back folder. In this configuration, the whole assembly is the size of one folder, so you can carry it to class in your backpack. When you get to the exam, just unfurl it and you're ready to go. Remember that you will not be allowed to use any internet connectable devices on your exam. So please bring physical copies of your book and any course materials you wanna bring and a standalone hand calculator. I also recommend bringing a ruler for phase diagrams, two pencils in case one fails and a bottle of water. When you're done with your exam, please keep your privacy screen for the subsequent exams. And good luck.